Axiom is a multi-effects processor and dual lamp simulator. Let's look at the interface. We have the main toolbar across the top. At the left is the input section, which contains the effects slots for processing the input, a tuner, and input gain. We have the amp channels in the center of the interface. Along the right is the master effects section, which contains four more effects slots to process the summed signal. We have stereo spread control, gain, and limiter controls. We have the tools rack at the bottom to host third-party virtual instruments. And we have a toolbar at the top. This will bring up global presets, and we have the same menu available at the center of the interface, as well as storing presets for various stages in signal flow. We can store and recall presets for the input section over here, for the pre-effects processing, for the post-amp effects processing, and even for the amp settings themselves, as well as the master output section. We have a button here to show or hide the controls to access MIDI learn settings. We have undo and redo buttons. This will open the user manual. This opens an about box to see info on the version you're using. This is a global zoom setting for the entire plugin. Now here we can hide or show various elements in the interface. We can hide or show the level meters at the outer edges of the interface with that button. This is used to hide or show the pre-effects pedals controls, and these update based on which pedal is selected. This button is used to show or hide the post-effects pedals controls, and as well will update depending on which one is selected. And this will show or hide the tool rack at the bottom. This one is used to show or hide the assigned controls when we have them mapped, and currently there's no controls mapped as we can see. This will lock all the GUI settings. And as well, we can lock various elements in Axiom so they don't change when we're calling up different presets. We can lock the pre-amp settings, post-amp settings, the amp settings themselves, the input settings, and of course the master settings. We open the preferences panel from here and we switch between the two amp channels by clicking in the header over here. We get a separate drop down menu for each one with presets. We blend between the two amps here, click on the letter A or B to jump to the extremes or on the word mix to jump to 12 o'clock position.